Welcome to day fourth of nine day breathwork challenge for unconditional bliss. By the end of this session, I promise to you is that you will feel an inspiring surge of empowerment, ready to take meaningful actions with this newfound confidence and clarity. So please stay tuned for a powerful shift in your approach to life. Today we focus on action and we're going to do certain breathing techniques and yoga nidra to bring you in a state of complete bliss so we can take action from there. In the first video, we talked about your emotional pattern. What is your emotional pattern? It's your habit. It's your emotional habit. So if your emotional pattern is of sadness, then your subconscious mind would create circumstances which would bring the experience of sadness for you. And that applies to all different emotions. In the second video, we went into a breathing technique and guided meditation to release your emotional patterns. In the third video, we talked about gratitude and how to get into a state of blissfulness through gratitude. We also talked about stop chasing things and allow things to come to you. If you're chasing desperately, you're increasing this feeling frequency of desperateness. And as you're feeling desperate, you're bringing more of those circumstances into your life by feeling that way. So you might think instead of chasing material progress, should we chase spirituality? Well, my friends, let me tell you another story about Buddha. One day, Buddha was walking through the forest and he saw a man running. As this guy is running, Buddha stops him. He says, brother, why are you running? And he stops and tells Buddha that they just discovered a gold mine in the neighbor village and I want to get there before everybody else gets there. And back in the day, people were very innocent. So Buddha told him that gold is not going to give you satisfaction, bliss. It's the enlightenment you should be chasing. And then he understands it. He gets it and he asks Buddha, where do I find enlightenment? Buddha said, there is another enlightened teacher, guru, in the next village. You can go there. And this man starts running in the other direction to find the enlightened guru. But my friends, the chase, the running, continues. Buddha's intention was to have him stop his chase. Before, he was running for materialistic possession, and now he's running after enlightenment. So friends, if you take this story back into your life, you realize that we are always chasing something. If it's not material possession, it could be spirituality. But we are definitely chasing 24-7. And my friends, here is the secret. When you stop chasing this thing, that thing starts coming to you. Because you need to understand that everything in the universe is energy. Everything is energy and energy is everything. You can repeat that after me. Everything is energy and energy is everything. And every energy has a frequency. And you and I, we are all vibrating at a certain frequency. Our emotions are vibrating at a certain frequency. Everything in the universe has frequency. So when you're vibrating at the frequency of chase, you are desperate. And that desperation brings more desperation. When you're feeling satisfied, when you stop this chase and you truly feel satisfied and blissful by your own nature, that you don't need anything, then, my friends, the chase gets over and you start vibrating at the frequency of fully satisfied, fully blissful, and the things you want naturally start getting attracted to you. Now, the question arises naturally in our mind, what if I just allow things to come to me? Do I need to take any action or things would just come to me automatically? My friends, action is very important. We never said don't take action. What we emphasized is first focus on the state of your being and then you take action from there. 
So in this video, we're going to take a practical approach and talk about the actions in our life, the karmas we do in our daily life, whether it's your job or other responsibilities. These are all actions. So my friends, there's an approach called be, do, have, and I'm sure you're familiar with it, but let me explain. In our modern society, 95% of people, the way we approach life is have, do, be. Let me give you an example. First we say, let me lose some weight, then I'll do exercise, and then I'll feel fit and better. So this is, first I wanna lose weight, then I would do exercise, and then I'll feel better. Here is another example to understand this. Sometimes we say, when I have enough money and time, then I will do the things I always wanted to do. And then I'll be happy and successful. But my friends, the problem is I don't have it yet. So this approach never works. How about we reverse engineer this approach? First, I want to feel fit and better. Then I'll do the exercise. And then the success would come. So my friends, Remember we talked about, we have been told a big lie, and that is that you are not enough. And this feeling has taken deep roots inside us. So mostly when we take actions, our actions sprout from the space of I am not good enough, because that's the lie we have been told. So we're going to replace that lie today with I am enough, and I am perfect, whole, and complete. So repeat this after me. I am perfect. I am whole. And I am complete. So first, we're going to feel this way about us. That you're perfect the way you are. You're exactly where you need to be in this moment. And you are enough. And then you take actions. You take powerful actions which will spring from this state of your consciousness that you are whole, perfect, and complete. And you tell me, when you take actions, what kind of actions would spring out of this state? What kind of results would you expect when you take actions from this state, that you are perfect, whole, and complete? You're not chasing anything, but what you're doing is you're focused on raising your vibration. Instead of solving problems, you are evolving. You're upgrading your awareness so the problems in front of you become smaller as compared to you. Today, we're going to introduce two special breathing exercises to bring you in that state of being where you feel perfect, whole, and complete. And then we introduce Yoga Nidra with affirmations to bring this message into your subconscious mind. So today we're going to do two rounds of two more breathing with breath holds for 45 seconds and then 60 seconds in the second round. So if you're ready, three, two, one, inhale fully, exhale. Forty five second breath hold. and allow the breath to come in and out normally. 
sit in meditation for 30 seconds. Beautiful job, my friends. Now we get into the second round of two more breathing, 45 times breathing, and then 60 second breath hold. So if you're ready, three, two, one, inhale fully, exhale. Sixty second. And allow the breath to come in and out normally and sit in meditation for 20 seconds. Now my friends, we transition into full relaxation with Yoga Nidra. Find a comfortable position, either laying down on your back or seated with your spine tall. Let your body slowly sink into the support beneath you. Close your eyes gently. Now bring your awareness to your body, starting with your right foot. Feel the weight of your foot settled into the ground or mat. Notice the sensations in your right toe, the arch, your heel. Is there any tension in your foot? Simply acknowledge these sensations without judgment and slowly move on to the next body part. Now move your awareness to your right ankle and calf. Notice any sensation of tightness or lightness. Continue scanning your right leg, moving your awareness to your right knee. Feel the joint, the bones, and the muscles surrounding it. Travel upward to the right thigh.
move your awareness on your right hip imagine it as stable foundation for supporting your body and now coming on to your left hip left thigh left knee calves heel toe and now bring attention to your both legs slowly starting to scan your feet together calves together knees together all the way up to your hips going into your lower back feel the support of the surface beneath you notice any sensations in your lumbar spine and breathe deeply releasing any tension travel up to your middle back move your awareness to your upper back and shoulders feel the weight of your shoulders and now move awareness to your chest and rib cage as you breathe in feel the breath expanding and contracting your chest move your awareness to your stomach and abdomen muscles feel the rise and fall of your belly with each breath Now slowly move your awareness through the spine all the way up to your neck. Feel the gentle curve of your neck and any tension held there. Finally, move your awareness to your face. Feel the gentle touch of your breath on your nostrils. Relax your jaw completely. Allowing the facial muscles to relax. As you rest in this relaxed state, begin to repeat a simple mantra silently in your mind i am whole with each repetition feel the truth of this statement resonate within you Imagine yourself as a complete being lacking nothing. You are a unique tapestry woven from experiences, emotions and strengths.
Now shift your focus to your heart center. Imagine a radiant golden light emanating from your heart, spreading and filling your entire being. Repeat, I am perfect. You are perfect in your imperfections. Perfect in your unique journey. Feel the power of these words dissolving any self-doubt or negative beliefs. You are perfectly designed for your life's purpose. Finally, bring your awareness on your entire being. You are whole, a complete expression of this universe. You are perfect. Flawless is your unique essence. And you are complete, lacking nothing on your journey. Silently repeat the affirmation, I am whole, perfect, and complete. And slowly find your way to a seating position. To deepen your practice, sign up for our holistic membership on our website. As a member, you gain exclusive access to the 9-day breathwork challenge for unconditional bliss, along with the entire library of courses on breathwork meditation, and self-improvement. Click on the link below to sign up. Also, please don't forget to download your breathwork journal. This journal offers profound insights into your emotional growth. My name is Abhi Dugal. Namaste, love, and peace.